Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your boy Kyojin. It's the kid AB. Special guest Ad or Arden. Uh, and today, again, you know, we picked like I'm not gonna lie, we picked a bad day to do this topic. You know, why? Uh, why? We're, well, for the people out there, we're doing hot takes and it controversial takes, things that might get us riled up. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I apologize in advance, Ads and AB. I've had three hours sleep in it, so when I say the topics. <laughs> I might sound more passionate than I am, and I might be very cranky in it. I apologize in advance. Um, basically, what you're saying is, uh, the me and Ads are getting booed from the. the <laughs> I might just leave myself, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I get hella cranky when I'm sleeping in it, so I apologize in advance. And I'm just having my lunch now as well. All right, so yeah, we're doing uh, go on. hot takes. Um, we're each going to put some forward some opinions that might get the people pissed off. Some funny ones, some serious ones. Um, who would like to start first? Who would like to piss off the people first? Um, so there's two. So we, what we've done is we have one, we have one serious one and one like a uh, joke one. Do you get me? So we've got two each. Uh, Kyoja might have more. I got like five. I'm very pissed off. <laughs> I'm very annoyed. <laughs> uh, cool. But I only have two. So uh, the kind of jokey one, I don't know. They're both like they're both un- kind of serious. But basically, my first one is: if you believe we evolved from apes, you're a retard. Ooh. I don't know if you can use that word. You know. Oh, well, I'm using it, bro. You say you say that every time I use it. Is that the twentieth episode? I probably used it every single episode. Well, I mean, you're on a podcast with two other Muslims, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we're gonna disagree with you. <laughs> Well, I'm saying if anyone, if anyone wants to, I mean, I'm it's kind of it. difficult to 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 um prove either way. I mean, there's still a theory. I can believe that um, AB came from apes, but you know, <laughs> that sounds like a racist comment. <laughs> First of all, don't even go there, yeah, because you, look how white you are on camera, fam. Yeah, that's on camera. You've been bleaching. That's what it. self hate and bastard. Uh, cool. Since we can't uh, sort of uh, debate, geez, well, you know, to use chopsticks, yeah? Uh-huh. Saying that, you good with what? was that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my second one is um, uh, Breaking Bad is shit and is overrated. Breaking what? I think, Breaking I think Bad. so too. Oh, no, I haven't even watched that, not gonna lie. I, I watched the first episode. I forced myself to watch season one, man. Bro, it's so shit. I can't lie, fam. It's so dead. It's actually, I, I, and I clocked it all. It's actually one of the worst uh, series I've ever watched in my life. Really? People go on like it's the best ever, you know? Yeah, bro, it's so mm. dead. Bro, there's one episode where this fucking bastard is chasing a fly for one whole episode, bro. He's I heard that's one of the best episodes, though. Bro, it was so shit. I'm thinking, bro, what the fuck am I? I want to I see some smoky. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I'm seeing this fucking idiot chase a thing, fam. There's there's some there's some sorry bits in it. Don't get me wrong, but uh, all in all, fam, it's like a two out of ten, bro. Really? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't no, comment I, on that, I, man. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Very shocking. There's I can't. Yeah. Like, I have two other um, <clears throat> controversial opinions, but it's a bit. I don't know if I want to get myself cancelled. So. Yeah, go on. <laughs> say, say it. We'll edit it out if it gets too brazy, it? No, 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 bro. The, the thing itself is breezy. Now go nah, on. Say it, say it, say it. Yeah. Uh, cool. Oh, God. So, remember, yeah, there was two jokes. So, one jokey one and one serious one, yeah? yeah? So, the first one was, if I pay for a woman, she better make me a sandwich. Okay, yeah, we got some good. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Why would you even say that, bro? Oh, yeah. you might as well. You go and you might as well because you got five, and my all mine this, are this, shit. This, this is not even one of my original five. I can't lie, oh, but on. I think British people, so no one of any specific color, but British people, and obviously in America as well, they see South Asian people as victims too much, and that's why you see South Asians like being the victims of crime all the time. Do you know what I mean? Like, ah, did off, you see today? Yeah, yeah, with the, it was the Uber that, driver, isn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's- that's crazy, man. Bro, well, I can't lie. It was 13, hard, I think 13 and 15. It's a hard one to talk about, you know, because, like, you know, you know when you see those ones, yeah? It's like, especially when you see, like, South Asian taxi Wait, for, for those people drivers. that don't know, don't know what you're talking about, tell them. Yeah, so basically, um, in America, these two girls were carjacking 
they were stealing a man's car, an Uber driver. Uh, I think he's a Pakistani man, right? Yeah, they chased him. They chased him? I didn't see that part. Yeah, they chased him, yeah. W- is, was that the video? Yeah, the video was on Twitter, like the full video. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't click yeah. on that shit. I saw the fucking, yeah, don't click, I, I saw it's, the caption, I was like, bro, I ain't, I ain't clicking this shit, man. What, like, the, the, the caption is so rude, my mood, fam. I don't want to watch a video to you. Yeah, it's a tough watch, man. I can't lie. Um, and then he's like trying to get them out of the car, and he's like on the side of the door in it. Mm. Um, and while they're the, this brother is recording the whole thing, saying like, "Yo, they're stealing the car." Like, yeah, we can see they're stealing. He's not the car. doing like, anything. <laughs> get involved in it. Um, it's it's a bit of like a double sword in it because on one hand, you're kind of happy that he got the evidence on camera, but like mm. in the moment, you need to be helping. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and we can even talk about that a little bit later in the story. But like, so they drive off here, yeah, and he's like on the side, and they're like skidding and skidding here. Yeah, and they, while they turn, the car like rolls over in it. What with him on the side of the car, bro, standing on the side of the car. Mm. And bro, he flies into the building. Into a building? Into the yeah. building. Like, it was like an army base or something like that. Into the railings, bro. And at that point, they blur out what the body in it, because obviously. Um, oh, I've question. seen the like the the actual video where you can see everything. Oh, I didn't. Uh, the version I watched was like once the car left, they blurred it at that point. Oh no no no! Like so, the car they were like they sped down the road. Yeah. Obviously, the car flipped on its side. So the car's on its side, like you know, like on the side of the pavement where you park your car. Yeah. The car's there, but on its side, and the yeah. guy's like ten foot away on the pavement. Yeah. Uh, like like face smashed down. up against the the wall, basically. Yeah. yeah. So he got flung from the car, and these two girls, they're climbing out the car, and bro. no one's no one's worried about the guy on the floor. She's like, "Do, oh, do you hear what she said?" My phone's bro. in the car. My phone. I need to get my phone. This and that. She's like, what? Like, that's that's the thing that she was worried about. And like crazy man, all like, these she just army soldiers someone. as well were like, like everyone move away from the car. There's gasoline on the floor. Move away from the body and stuff like that. He died. At nobody the was. As well. you know, yeah, he nobody was right attending there. to the to the guy. You can see in the video, like, he's moving a bit on the floor as well. So he was still alive while he was on the floor. Yeah, I didn't see that part because what the version I watched, the whole, like, that whole part of the yeah. wall was blurred, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, because whenever you see, like, South Asian drivers <clears throat> getting harmed or, like, assaulted on the internet, yeah? Like, for me personally, I just think to myself, that on a bad day, that could be my dad, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it just feels like, and that makes you, like, heart heavy, in it? Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I think, yeah, racism against uh, South Asians is normalised. Or Asians in general is normalised. Yeah, most definitely. Like, it could be even, like, the, it could be even down to, like, um, simple shit, like, just doing accents. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But if man was to do, like, another accent, do you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, oh, yeah, he's taking a piss, or, you know what I'm saying? But You know what? I have got, I have got one hot take for this as well. Go on. Oh, yeah. You know, people say, oh, um, you know, certain races can't be racist or you can't be racist against certain races. I mean, that's total BS, man. I yeah. think anybody can be racist and anybody can receive racism. Yeah, mm, I agree. Included, and, From any group, and, including and, including and, white people. <laughs> yeah, including white people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, including white people. That's enough. I feel like racism gets white people so normalised, Do you know what it is? I don't know why, yeah? There's this new age definition that it somehow links to power and people who are in power. Uh, where does this come from? If you look at any dictionary definition of racism, it's the marginalization or the discrimination. discrimination of a certain race based on them being part of that race. It's got nothing to do with power. So yeah. anybody can be a victim of racism yeah. and anybody can inflict racism on others. Is this this new definition Twitter, is, yeah, is total fucking, rubbish, man. With these fucking, with their diploma and plastering. Yeah, that they know that, that they know a lot about a race, like, and you know what I'm saying, our power dynamics within race and shit. Stupid man. Like, For me, yeah, though, like, it's, it's, course, it's a bit of a sticky one, isn't it? Because like, I think what people don't realize is all these words like racism, race, yeah, they're all made up. If that makes sense, do you know what I mean? Like, in in terms of the people, who are like, oh, if this is a definition, I'm just gonna mm. push that agenda, and that's gonna be the definition, and yeah. nobody else can say anything else. Do you know what I mean? And in those sense, yeah, when when I see someone being racist or like in their in their sense prejudice, right? Mm. If I saw like A B being racist to someone, yeah, or being mean to someone because they're like not brown in it, my first thought wouldn't be yo to to, to the person that he's been racist to, like yo, he's not being racist, being prejudiced. 
yeah. talking, like you're, you're a dickhead. Why are you saying these things? Why are you acting like this? Do you know what I mean like just calling it prejudice or racism is all like pragmatics, it's all semantics, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I mean the act is still there, people are still saying the shit they're saying. So like yeah. surely you and it's be based on race, that. which is yeah. what the problem is. Do you know what I mean? It's such a such a stupid thing to base any sort of discrimination on. But I disagree with what AB said about like the normalization thing, yeah. I get what you mean. I think some some forms of racism is more tolerated than others, but all all racism is normalized. That's why it all runs. Do you know what I mean? I don't think any I don't think nah. there's any form nah, of racism nah, nah, that nah, isn't nah. normalized, bro. What can you do in it? For me. Sorry. This guy is so unprofessional, but we're working, you know. I'm hungry, man. Alright, I was gonna say, yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> The way I see it, yeah, <laughs> it's like mess. I don't care if 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 some Pakistani on on TikTok or Twitter don't like me, because I know the people around me, like I as a landlord, I'm cool mm. with them. And that's what you know when I was talking about nuance, yeah. People go on. Oh, oh speaking of sick. landlord, what is he coming in? He just came out of nowhere, fam. Huh? No way! I didn't know he was joining us. I what are you saying, bro? Landlord, 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 landlord. Landlord. Well, I was just talking about <laughs> you. <bro. laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I miss you on this pod, you know, fam. This time I was with him like two days ago, fam. This is interesting. What me. in a panoramic? <laughs> but he's part. He's part of my uh, support bubble. Okay, yeah, them ones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, landlord man? Yeah, I'm saying I just have to do something quick, innit? Before let me just jump on. Come on, I know you came on for the the hot takes episode. You're trying to piss some people off, innit? Yeah, obviously I got I got some hot takes as well, but you yeah. know what? One of the assumption episode, yeah. Like someone said an assumption saying, uh, landlord seems like he doesn't talk that much, but everything he says gets bleeped out, so he must be controversial. This is episode fam. Mm-hmm. What episode to return to, Ola? I prefer not to speak. <laughs> if I speak, I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't like we went on some mad tangent, you know. Yeah, what what were we t- what was the original point? AB was talking about oh racism against South Asians is normalized. Mm. I feel like yeah. it is. I I agree. I, I agree. It's because what do you remember that time? Yeah, when that when that rapper said the p word, and everyone's uh, like so Asians called out called him out on it. Yeah, and then people were laughing. People were laughing, and then the brother said, um, "Oh, if anyone's got a problem, just come link me." And then people were laughing at what he said to that. Yeah, you know because everyone's no, bumbling at your rappers, isn't it? So I, I don't know, I don't know, isn't it? But not one person yeah. said, "Yo, that's actually racist." Do you know nah, what I'm a lot saying? of people, a lot of people did, not it? A lot of people did. I, I, bro, I'll be honest, I didn't see one, bro. I, I saw a few in it, but yeah, I get what you mean in it. Like I was human with that as well because, yeah, I no, can't I'm joking. believe it. I'm joking, bro. None of this shit, yeah. I'm saying this, yeah, but none of this shit matters if all Asians, well, South Asians, are just gonna beef each other, bro, and just chat shit about each other. Yeah. And when someone, when someone comes in and be racist, boy. Do you know what I'm saying? You got to hold that, fam. Do you know what annoys me? BLM yeah. came about, yeah, both times, yeah. Because remember, there was this that because BLM isn't new. Like it didn't come out last year or the year before. It was like six years ago when I first heard about BLM, innit? Uh, am I right? Mm. It was a few years ago, I like when you first heard about Black Lives Matter. Yeah. yeah. Bro, every single per every single black person came together, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why can't Asians do that? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But instead, you want to talk about oh, who's Briani's better and uh, do you know what I'm saying? Like, who, who's clothes who's clothes belongs to who? Bro, it's all... Bro, if I speak, fam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what annoys me, though, yeah? You know, when, when you get into like, when you get into a conversation about whether the, uh, saying the P word is racist or not, yeah? And everyone's like, everyone in the UK has been like, yeah, 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 it is, yeah. And then the Americans get involved they're like, no, no, bro. It's, it's just a shortened version of the word. Like, fuck uh, off. It's because they... It's because they don't understand that. where it came from, innit? Yeah, like, if you didn't have that, you can't tell us whether it's racist or to not. To be honest, a lot of yeah. Americans don't even know where they come from. Yeah, I don't know Americans. So like, they, yeah. like, we can say that, oh, like, we're, we're from this part of the world, yeah? Bare mm. Americans don't know that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Because mm. of the history and that. Obviously, I'm yeah. not saying that's their fault, but... I can't yeah. stand Americans, man. Yeah. Listen, I need, if, 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 if we ever China, need to, if we ever get famous, America, huh? yeah? Who are never oh. making it Hollywood, you know? The amount of anti-American tweets I have. <laughs> oh, I forget man. Hollywood, man. We we making it in Bollywood, chief. 
a lie. <laughs> Why not Pollywood, huh? I'm joking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, what's what's Pollywood? I can't say that word. For for Pakistani? Yeah. <laughs> is isn't your thing Bollywood as well? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, we have our own we have our own cinema, bro. Come on. Well what? Who you man? Yeah, Bangladeshis. My my auntie and my un- uncle were in a movie as well. I think I told you guys about this already. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. you told me. Yeah. But anyway, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't fuck with Americans, man. To any Americans, yes, I'm just joking. Wait. Nah, we're not joking, bro. <laughs> Suck your mum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's got another hot take? <laughs> Shall I say my one, yeah? Yeah, go on. I didn't really have a jokey one, but this one, I mentioned it in a previous episode, but vegans don't have a moral leg to stand on, basically. Um, and I'll explain why, yeah? So, most... so. You've got like two, you've got multiple types of vegans, right? So you've got ones who do it for their own personal health. That's fine, whatever. That's not a moral issue. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the ones who say, oh, eating meat is bad. Eating and abstaining from meat is good, yeah? When you talk about good and bad, you've got to have um, a, like a objective moral basis, right? Oh, oh. you got to sign in. <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we if you're arguing with somebody you need to agree on that objective moral basis otherwise the argument is is meaningless right so for somebody to tell you veganism is good or eating meat is bad they need to justify it with a strong moral basis right so yeah i, I think any vegan um they can either argue from a religious standpoint so for example there's a lot of hindus who are vegan they can argue that you know, it's yeah. My moral, my moral basis is is in my religion, but then the argument turns into a religious debate and not a vegan debate. And then you've got like atheistic vegans who say, you know, this is good for whatever reason. But honestly, uh, atheists don't have a uh, objective moral basis anyway, so they have no leg to stand on. Um, you know what? We're, we're all that, like that's my argument. We're all meaty. You say we need to get a vegan on one day just to be like, yo, I just shut the fuck up. Now hold on, hold on, one second. Um, I I don't mind arguing with a vegan, bro. But I think I think there is a there is a moral reason not to eat meat, though. Go on. You know what I mean, as in just like the the meat industry in like Western society, or even maybe in the East, I don't know, uh, yeah. can be very like unethical. But that's I mean. not an argument against eating meat. That's an argument against the meat industry, yeah, which is two different you, things. You get the meat talk- from the eat industry. No, but you're you're talking industry. about Western. You're talking about Western farming, innit? So yeah. a vegan would argue that raising chickens in your back garden and eating them is still immoral, but it's totally different. Maybe just be. Do you know what I mean? Impactful. So would you know? So you know when you said yeah, it's it's probably is still wrong to eat meat based mm. on our farming methods. Would it be wrong uh, on the same basis to raise chickens in your back garden and eat them? I was vegan for two months and I fucking regret it to this very day, though. How can you regret, bro? It's not like it affected your life. Yeah, what reasons did you do it for? Was it for health or moral reasons? For me. a thing. <laughs> no. What did he say? He said for a thing. No, no, I don't what did he say? I heard what he I said what his, I heard oh. what his retard said, but what did he say? I stop saying that word, man. <laughs> I said, what reason did you become vegan? Was it for health or was it for moral reasons? I'll be honest. It's more health, isn't it? But I just wanted to try something new. Yeah. Because I was pescatarian for like two years. Then within those two years, I was vegan for two months. I can't That's remember. the after thing. Be- huh? Sorry, go on, go on, go on. After being vegan for two months, that's when I was like, you know what? I'm going back to eating meat. <laughs> I was going to say, I have no argument with people who, who claim veganism is a, is a healthier option. That's fine, isn't it? Like, there's an argument to make there. But it's, it's on the moral issue that I have a problem. I think nobody can argue morally that it is either good or bad. What if they believe morally? Like, it's not our food. Huh? I'm not saying I do, but what if they believe morally, like, they think Animals like, aren't milk, food. Mi- milk is not our food because it belongs yeah. to cow-, cow babies and stuff like that. That's the what thing. Ca- so w- when you start yeah. talking about good and bad, you're talking mm-hmm. about morals and where you get your morals from. So mm-hmm. with this person who would say, oh, it's not, it's not our food, it's not designed to be food, well, then you need to ask them, okay, well, what do you base that on? Do you know what I mean? So where, where do you get that uh, set of moral standards from? That, and then that that's where you can start arguing. Though. 
Yeah. Because basically what you're saying is that atheists can't have a moral basis, right? Uh, no. I think atheists don't have objective morality and they can derive morals from society which ultimately are based on religion. Yeah, but so then they still have a moral basis though. Yeah, no, that's fine. But they, they, so they can't, they can't, they don't have an independent objective morality that's not based on religion. Do you know what I mean? But, but then theists don't have a oh, they do. basis that's, uh, that's independent of religion then, because they also believe in a religion, right? Yeah, but that's, that's not the argument though. I'm confused. So, you, you so an atheist. Put me to sleep, man. Shut up, man. This guy so has studied athe- philosophy. And I'm just trying no, to get no, my head no. around what you say. So an atheist would argue that they get their morals from nature, for example, or from uh, society, or from what they feel is right. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. not objective. Do you know what I mean? Because different societies will think different things. So basically, it's not the, the the point I'm making is it's not even a veganism debate. It's a morality debate. So it's, it's a debate on where you derive your morals from. Um, yeah, basically. This is, it's very I'm, difficult to argue, to be yeah, honest. Because the thing is, yeah, like, obviously I'm seeing it from vegans' point of view, but I'm not a vegan myself, yeah. innit? So it's yeah. not something I'm too passionate about arguing about, innit? Yeah. So, so like, but I, I, I think they have a moral standpoint, innit? Like, nope. Especially when you look at the meat industry, it's unethical. And you, you said like, oh, you can raise chickens in your, your yeah. back garden. Yeah. In London, how yeah. practical is that? You know I mean? No, no, no. But that's, that's not the argument I'm making. So the argument I'm making is, so vegans will say eating meat, whatever meat it is, is wrong all the time. Yeah. Mm. So you, you, they have to provide some moral basis for that. And my argument is they don't have a moral basis for it. it could Unless it's from... separate science though. But yeah, of course, but unless unless their moral basis is from religion, but then it turns into a religious debate. So, which religion is correct? If they say from uh, from like morals derived from society or from however they feel, then you know that's not objective. It's still, it's still a moral basis, though. Do you know what I mean like? But it's not objective, so you can't impose it on anyone. You can't tell other people it's right or wrong. I personally believe you can't tell anyone what's right or wrong. To be honest, but yeah. No, but if you if you if we agree on an objective moral basis then you can agree on what is right and wrong there's too much you know nuance I mean? there's too much nuance out there no there's not what i'm saying is if you if two people come to an understanding on yeah. uh what an objective moral truth is yeah. yeah then you can agree on what is right and wrong yeah but that's that's even that is subjective between the two of you do you know what i mean no it's not yeah because Unless... okay do you agree that there is truth ultimately as a Muslim, obviously. Yeah. No, no, but okay. So if you took if you took yourself outside of Islam, there are I'm there are this truths. Guy, this guy has been asking me to take my fo- self out of the fold of Islam for like <laughs> six weeks now. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop for a while. What I mean is, for example, one plus one is two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. So that's true all the time. Yeah. 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 Or a circle is round. That's true all the time. Yeah. So there's I mean, things that yeah, are always if, true. If if we called it something else, it wouldn't be round anymore. Like if, if, yeah. maf- if we, if we call it a triangle, yeah. it would have three points. But what I'm saying is, you, yeah. do, do you understand what I'm saying? So, so some things are always true, right? So yeah. th- so we can we can kind of take from that that there is truth to everything, right? So in terms of what is right and wrong, there's going to be a truth, regardless of if we know what it is or not. Mm, not with everything, though. I don't Why think not? there's truth with everything. You can have your own truth and you can believe it to be true. But, no, but that that statement doesn't make sense because I don't think different people can have their own truths because they, yeah. then it, then it's not a truth. So, no, for, I mean, ex- for example, so can, like can, eating animals, yeah, I yeah. think it's okay because, for, like, we have a whole like festival around it, Qurbani and stuff. That's like, that's your belief. Right? That's not a truth. But it's truth to me. Do you know what I mean? No, like, no, I know that truth, bro. that I believe your that belief. eating meat is eating meat is okay, and that's true to me in it. Someone that, yeah, else, that, they believe not it's a truth. Wrong, it's true to them in it. It's not a truth though. A truth is something that is true by definition, right? So I don't, I don't think example, there's any objective truth though. There is. So two different people will not disagree on how many sides a triangle has, right? I think I think it has four. Okay, yeah. If you're being an time. asshole, then you can. <laughs> <laughs> but do you understand what I'm saying? Two different people can't disagree on how many sides a triangle has. So we take from that that different things have truths regardless of what you believe. I don't think you can apply that to eating meat, though. 
And my argument is that you can. Huh? I said my argument is that you can. <laughs> As in you can, you can, you can objectively say that is is me eating meat is good. No, no, you can no. So what I'm saying is you can't objectively say that it's bad. But then you can't objectively say that's good. What? Well, well, so if you want to say it's either bad or good, you need to first agree on your objective morality. But that's. Do you understand? There's, there's, there's too many morality bases in the world, and you won't be able to do that. No, but that's what I mean. So the, the conversation, what? So the wider conversation is, is it's not actually a, a debate about veganism. It's a debate about what is moral. Yeah. 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 And I, I think you can come to an understanding of what is fully moral for everybody. Do you know for what I mean? All the, for all the vegans watching, yeah, look, he's rubbing in your face. He's wearing snake skin as well, you know. Like the audacity Sorry. of this brother, you know. <laughs> he brought up that topic just so he could flex. <laughs> but for real, yeah, that, that's, 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 my, that's my take. <laughs> Any vegans who are upset, you can DM me. We can talk about it. Because I actually want to like, I actually want to discuss this. It's a very interesting topic to me. We should we should invite a vegan to jump on this podcast. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Come, come. We should we should. <laughs> 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 this is from, you can't argue with people that study philosophy though. They just they just talk, talk, talking about like well, Socrates I'm, said I the do, philosophy no, no, of society. Bro, it's, I did so bad in <laughs> I did really bad in philosophy, so. <laughs> It's All not right. a. Has anyone else got a take? Go on, you go. Oh, is it my turn? I will start off with a funny one, innit? Yeah. Well, not a funny one. It's semi serious. I don't really believe this in it. But I don't trust people who can't listen to music in another language. Or even people who can't watch a movie just because it's got subtitles and it's in another language. Yeah, oh. I don't trust that people. I agree. You know what I mean? Because, you know, when people say stuff like, oh, how do you listen to, I don't know, like K-pop or even like Bollywood or Hindi music or Iranian music, anything, yeah? And they're like, oh, you don't understand it, yeah? You think I understand what Young Fuck is saying? <laughs> That's in English, bruv. Do you know what I mean? So obviously I can listen to K-pop and Korean music and whatever music and not understand it. I listen to Young Fuck. I don't understand what Lil Baby's saying or Gunna. What the hell? I can't, I can't lie, yeah? I think Lil Baby's worse than Gunna, you know? I mean, in, in, uh, than Young Fuck in terms of like trying to understand what he's saying. He might be. Gunner, like, Gunner's up there as well, man. So long, I can, I can understand him now, but a little baby, bro, I can't understand him one bit, man. I think Gunner's worse. I can't lie. Uh, no, 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 no. Gunner's, Gunner's hard. You can, you can, you can hear what Gunner. Yeah, as, as, as in his, his music is sick here, yeah? but like, for example, who who you fooling? Yeah, I listened to that song about fifty million times, and I still, even if I know what he's saying, I struggle to say what he's saying. Do you know what I mean? The way he says it is just like. Rah, 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 rah. Singapore. That sounded sound nuts. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't trust this people. <laughs> right, quick question, you man. Yeah, I already know Lando's answers to this. Yeah, um, do you mind watch shit with subtitles on? Yeah, yeah. even if it's in English. Um, I, I can't, English I can't hear if it's not yeah. in English. Yeah, yeah I don't have subtitles. Yeah. I can't hear. <laughs> Why do you not? No, because I know English, man. Why do I need subtitles to know? No, no but so you, you can hear it, bro. What do you mean? So you, you're telling me you, you listen with your eyes. Why do you yes. need subtitles? Yes, you do. <laughs> it helps you um, hear what, him, bro. What if someone else is talking or and like some noise happens? Do you know what I mean? You need to, you need to, yeah. I know for sure I, if you're watching a movie subtitles. with AB, yeah, he'll be in the corner like, like just munching in the corner, yeah, eating crisp. I know we'd have to put the subtitles. Oh, but you, you that would be that's that's something that you'd be making on me when we're watching a movie. Shut up, man. <laughs> Lizzy Doppler, get out of here. What's wrong with that? I didn't say there's anything wrong with that. It's just it ain't me, okay? Wait, what right, did he say? Right. Just making sure you're, you're a Glizzy Grubber. A Glizzy Grubber. Oh, so, say that again. <laughs> oh, what, what did he just say? <laughs> that was not English. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put the subtitles in for that part. <laughs> well, subtitles are oh. pants, bro. I can't lie, man. It's so shit. You don't, the only thing I don't like about subtitles when you're watching English is sometimes they give you spoilers in it. You know when they make the sentence too long in the subtitles and they tell oh, you the whole you, sentence? So I don't understand. So do you watch the subtitles? Do you read the subtitles first? Or do you, like, I, I, I don't Listen, understand, bro. How do you know? Bro, same time. Same time. I, I grew up watching anime. I can, I can do both at the same time. My... I know you're cross-eyed, so you can definitely watch both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the subtitles on a separate screen and still understand. 
<laughs> that's a separate stream. Oh man, yeah, but yeah, that's why the man need to start like listening to music from other languages, isn't it? It doesn't matter if you can't understand. Do you know what I mean? If I if I cared about the meaning, all I would listen to is J Cole and Logic, fam. You know I mean, nah, that music is boring, man. Yeah. I think J. Cole, oh, Kendrick shit. Lamar, all so boring. Whoa, man. whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax on the Kendrick Lamar sounder, please. Nah, same as Dave as well. Dave is boring. I'm so sorry about Kendrick is trash. Yeah, fact. F- three quarters of us went to Kendrick's concert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but he's still trash. <laughs> no, his only good album was uh, Good Kids from. Landlord is chatting shit here yeah, because we went to the concert yeah. he was all the way in the front row and when Kendrick was handing out a scarf he's like, please, please, oh. <laughs> give me a scarf. <laughs> You're a crowd, <laughs> You know when, when the rappers, yeah, when they spray their wall, Lionel had his mouth open. <laughs> okay, you're you're disgusted. <laughs> he put his tongue out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do the action in it, but I knew someone was gonna clip it. <laughs> I intended to him. Really fun. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, that was my first like. That was my semi-serious taking. I don't trust people that can't listen to things that they don't understand. <clears throat> I think listening to music, you, you don't have to understand it, man. It's about the vibe, innit? 100%. All right, John, the next one, yeah? Yeah. This one, I don't know if I'm going to be coherent enough to word this properly in it because it's a semi-serious, it's a very serious one, actually. But I don't like, when we talk about toxic masculinity uh, on the internet and stuff, I don't like the fact that men in dresses is the poster child of attacking toxic masculinity. Like, let me explain why, yeah? Wait, because wait. Okay, wait, say that again, sorry. I don't get it. I don't like the fact that, like, for example, taking having a photo shoot of a man in a dress is like the, the poster child for, for getting rid of toxic masculinity. Do you know what I mean? So do you think men, mm-hmm. uh, men are supposed to wear dresses? No, I, I, I don't have an opinion about that, but let me, let me elaborate, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Let me elaborate, yeah. Because <clears throat> when it comes to men in dresses, yeah, everyone can suddenly then remember that uh, gender is a social construct. And even though it's a social construct, one way or another, through agents of socialization, we've all grown up thinking that wearing a dress is feminine, right? Like, yes or no, it's true, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Just because someone on the internet says it's not feminine, it's not going to change overnight. Do you know what I mean? All right. So it's like, oh, don't be toxic, wear a dress, yeah. Uh, that wearing dresses is masculine, but then when it comes to like real issues, like I'm not okay, that's kind of rude to say real issues in it, but like, when it comes to more widespread issues, like um, speaking about your mental health in it, people will be like, Oh, speak about your mental health, show your feminine side. Do you know I mean, so things that men actually all need to do is like, Oh, yeah, that's your feminine side, get into your feminine side in it, but when it comes to things that are already feminine, it's like, Oh, like that is. That is masculinity. So it looks like to me that the attack on toxic masculinity is just attack on masculinity in general, not toxic masculinity in it. Because it's like, why should talking about your mental health be seen as a feminine thing? But suddenly you can recognize that or oh, wearing a dress is your own choice. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense here, but like, I just don't like the fact that people say, oh, sp- I don't think about your feelings and stuff is feminine. Is that? I don't think a lot of people would disagree with you. I think people do, you know. Well, I don't think people disagree with me, but I don't think anyone ever says that. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Well, I've never seen yeah. people like people just go along with it. When people say, "Oh, get into touch with your feminine side," people go along with it and make it normal in it. Whereas, like, why sh- it shouldn't be seen as a feminine thing? Do you know what I mean? It's just like me saying, "Oh, I'm sad," "Oh, I'm happy." Yeah, that's just a normal human thing, bro. It's not feminine or masculine. Do you know what mm. I mean? Yeah, so I don't know. I had more in my head, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Because I just feel like, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I feel like because men don't talk about toxic fem- masculinity, they just pretend like it's not there in it. A lot of men in it pretend like, oh, it's not a thing. It's not real. <clears throat> if women are the only people talking about toxic masculinity, they're obviously going to only attack the things that they see as a problem. Do you know what I mean? So like, for, for example, like being aggressive and stuff like that, all, which is all obviously an issue, yeah? But then men need to get involved in that movement or that conversation because there's other things that affect us in it. Things like, um, I'm going to sound like a socialist because I kind of am, but like capitalism in it. Do you know what I mean? No, or most people who fight against toxic masculinity, they're not going to talk about capitalism because 
men as you as you guys we spoke about quite a few times men being the provider makes sense for them it's like it it works mm-hmm. for them do you know what i mean but yeah i had a point but i don't know it's gone <laughs> no i hear you though I, I yeah. hear you so. do you know what i mean i just feel like yeah it's like yeah like the whole men in dresses thing it's cool and all, but it's not would you, would you wear a dress nah nah I feel like the long hair and the eyeliner is enough, bro. I don't need to go any further. Do you know what I mean? But I thought you only do that because it's sunnah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But obviously in Western society, it's seen as very uh, feminine, isn't it? So would you say that you're quite feminine right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, no. where'd you, you get the bubble tea from? Uh, Way or tea. Oh, yeah. Say no more. On Uber Eats. Yeah, I've been banging them recently, man. Ten, ten. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's why I just think I think men need to get more involved in the conversation or the movement so that we can actually address the issues that affect us. Do you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, this, this is going to go further, yeah, but something I'm very passionate about. It. You know, when people talk about like mental health and stuff, yeah, men's mental health, it will come the day on men's mental health, yeah, and that people will be posting statistics about like how many men kill themselves, and that's it. That's my activism finishing it, which is fine mm. because it's not on women to like fight for men's mental health and shit like that, innit? But then no one talks about why men are sad, in it? It's not just like, oh, um, like, be kind to men. Do you know what I mean? Like, we don't, we don't really care about that shit, innit? It's actual things that make us sad, like, you know, well, most of us here are, like, the, either the oldest son or the only son in, like, an immigrant family, innit? Mm. So things like what that. What did you like, just call me? You know you're the only son in an immigrant family, but working class family as well, innit? So having to live with that financial pressure your whole life of having to look after a whole extended family, yeah, those are the sorts of things that we need to be talking about or we need to be fighting against or we need to, like, alleviate. But, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Just, like... Just continue, man. Yeah, it's just, like, people ignore that stuff, innit? And I feel like we need to take control of that and actually fight for ourselves rather than let other people fight for us. Because otherwise, our, our needs are going to get ignored. Yeah. That's why you end up seeing people saying stuff like, oh, I miss when men used to go to war and die. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what all it is for them, isn't it? Real talk. And I miss when women actually used to make sandwiches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to the audio, I'm shaking my head right now. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I think, innit? I just think... I agree still. I feel like men do need to be a more vocal. I feel like everyone just needs to be a more vocal about like what they feel passionate about. Um and like their needs and shit. Yeah. In order to like obviously to move the conversation forward and to also help meet your needs. Otherwise you're gonna get ignored, innit? Like people are gonna misrepresent you for. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Like personally I don't wanna wear a dress in it. So that doesn't have to be my poster child for toxic masculinity or fighting toxic masculinity. I would wear a dress, I can't know. If it's swaggy, I would. You can swear a thobe in it. I can't lie, yeah. I'm trying to say I I, I, would, I, would, I would never wear a dress. I've been cat called in a phobia. You know? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, well, but no, in all seriousness, yeah, like when I go to the mosque, I'm walking down Carlton Avenue or whatever, I'm wearing a thobe. I'm a bit I'm very fat in it. So I'm a bit curvy like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you got long hair, yeah. And these days, I'm obviously wearing a mask and I'm wearing a thobe. And people like in white vans or like cars, yeah, they'll like peep at me or like shout at me. And I don't know <laughs> if they're catcalling or being Islamophobic. Do you know what I mean? It's too. <laughs> Either way, I don't like it. <laughs> Man, a thick pick. Under a season, innit? Can't lie. Double kicked off. Not joking. <laughs> Sound check, I got a long back. <laughs> Man said Sandra season. Oh my god. Uh, has anyone got, I got a couple more. Has anyone got any more? Landlord, have you got some takes for us? Landlord is a hot take, bro. Everything that he says is just. Do you have any hot takes? Yeah. Yeah. Like controversial opinions that you just want to get out there. I don't know, man. Like, I have to be careful about this, innit? Because cancer culture is real. Fuck it, say it. We'll, bleep, we'll edit it out and if it gets mad. Um, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I'm just, I have to think now. Should I drop some more? Make a topic. I li- 
Bones? This one might push, piss a lot of people. Actually, I'll go to this one first, yeah. <clears throat> you know, like a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about how, like, brown moms have a lot of attachment to their to their sons, innit? Almost unhealthily. Well, a lot, a lot of cases, very unhealthy, innit? Well, some cases, very unhealthy. I don't know what I'm generalising. But, yeah. Do you guys remember? We spoke about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like nobody ever wants to see it from their point of view. Do you know what I mean? Because if you look at it like this, yeah, and I'm just... This is all conjecture, and I'm just putting the theory out there. But, for example, a lot of brown moms have had arranged marriage, in it, Or mm. forced marriage under the guise of arranged marriage, in it. Yeah. And so, like, they never really loved their husbands or whatever, innit? They've just been serving this man who they don't even fuck with for how many ever years, innit? A lot of them, innit? I'm not... Talk to them to have a son. <laughs> you know what I mean, innit? <laughs> like, emotionally, they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't mess with him, innit? So, obviously, there's no love between her and that man, innit? Your dad, basically, is what I'm saying. Not you guys. I don't want other people in it. <laughs> let me get. Let me get to the point. Let me get to the point. So obviously, there's no male. I there's no treading too carefully, man. <laughs> nah, nah, there's, there's, there's no love for that that male in her life, in it. Yeah. yeah. And then for all the brown girls out there who like say they have a bad relationship with dad, yeah. Imagine all the brown moms out there who have had that relationship with their dad, but back then when patriarchy was even worse. Do you know what I mean? So, like, surely you must be able to see that maybe they didn't have a great relation with their dad, in it? Or, like, their brothers or anyone. So, so far, they've gone their whole life without any, like, real love for a male person, in it? And then comes along their son, who they made, and they looked after, and they nurtured. Obviously, they're going to be a little attached in it, because that's the first, like, man or boy that they properly loved, in it? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why I feel like they love their sons more, because they've never got that affection from a man before. Do you know what I mean? It could be, could be. I'm just, I'm just, it's just conjecture. I think you're just chatting shit, man. I think I'm right, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing by it, man. I'm standing by it. Um, you, can, you can see where I'm coming from, though, innit? I don't know, because uh, my mom don't even like me, so. <laughs> so. I think you have to, to be to honest, people. I've I've not really witnessed um like an Asian mum like overly loving their son, innit? Yeah, same. Now just just know. from the stories that we had, innit? Like imagine from the stories that I had, innit? That yeah. we had. Yeah. Could you see that scenario playing out? Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. I should write a book, innit? <laughs> <laughs> because no, in all seriousness, yeah, I feel like our generation, yeah, we're very keen on it's a good thing we speak out about our issues and our problems, innit? But I feel like a lot of us never ever see the issue from other people's point of view, innit? Like, if we got it tough, then other people must have it tough in their life as well, innit? Like, it's like, I can, I can these days, people can be a dickhead and be like, yeah, it's because the Mercury is in retrograde or because I got childhood trauma or something like that, which is all very valid, except from the astrology shit. That's not valid. Astrology is not valid at all, but like, man. But, like, the, the reasonings that you put behind why you're a dickhead, like, for example, like, childhood trauma or, like, certain bad things happen to your life here, yeah, why can't you apply that level of doubt or that level of reasoning to other people? Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. Justice for brown moms, man. They get a bad rap out here. They're a little bit toxic, but there must be a reason behind it. They can't just be born <laughs> toxic. Not my mom, though. My mom's lovely, I think, innit? I haven't got married yet, so we will see, innit? I got a brown mom. <laughs> lovely as well. Um, let's talk about um, astrology. Or is that your next hot take? Oh, yeah, you just reminded me, innit? After, after so, you guys were trying to clown me last week after I said, yeah, that men shouldn't be into astrology. And you're like, oh, what, what, why is it different for a man? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> men shouldn't be into astrology, man. I mean, it's true. It should, why is it different for I don't think anybody should be into astrology. They, they, uh, astrology some people, total some people BS, need to justify their, justify their toxic behavior, innit? So I allow it for them, innit? So, so why can't men justify their toxic behavior? Uh, men's toxic behavior is a bit more dangerous, innit? They start beating people up and shit. Do you know what I mean, so they then they're, they're not allowed to justify their their toxic behavior. They need to address um, that shit. Are you are you um denying the experience of male victims of domestic abuse? How did you jump from what well, I mentioned? Look at stars. To... Bro, now nah, you <laughs> get out. Of here. I mean, this this is this is what you said, isn't it? I, I'm just asking questions. But yeah, I don't think anybody should should, should be into astrology. Total total rubbish, man. Like, 
Because first of all, you've got time zones, right? So, so <laughs> someone born on the 22nd of June and someone born on the 23rd of June uh, on different ends of the world could actually have been born at exactly the same time, right? But just because of time zones, it's a different date. So they'd be in a different uh, star sign. But the time zones would mean yeah. that the stars are the stars and the moon are like a different distance to you. Shut up, you little... You know what I mean? Look at this Fuck guy. This... You know what I mean? No, to be, to be, I, well, I, well, I just made that up on the spot. It's, no, it's like, I don't know saying... how it works. But because the thing is, when you when you search up your star sign, it's based on dates, isn't it? So someone in Australia searching up their star sign. Do you, know, do, do you understand what I mean? You could have been born on actually the same second, but it's two different dates. But it might be the distance from the stars, isn't it? It might have been where the star. What the are you talking about? Relative to you, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? No. Bro, Bro, stars are, are, are based understand. on dates. They're based on dates. Yeah, like how far the you're this. Is, you know? No, no, no. You're based on this. You're, you're this sign if you're born within these two dates. Yeah, I'm just playing devil's advocate, man. I don't know. Yeah. Fuck so what I'm saying is, is someone born at exactly the same time as you in a different time zone would be out of that bracket because of time zone, but they're still born at the same time as you. What star sign are you? I have no idea. You're actually not. I have, I have no clue. This guy's lying, fam. He's, oh, he, he's so anti star sign. I think I searched this shit up. No way. No, but surely, like in primary school or something, you just knew no. what star sign you were. No. I did, bro, you know, fam, my, my early primary school, I went to a, a, a private Islamic school in it. So I didn't know anything about this stuff. There, there's a lot of atheists in the audience saying, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, you can't come for I was privately schooled, right? You can't come for me. Don't move, bro. <laughs> Domestics on Zoom, what the hell? <laughs> Domestic violence. <laughs> Home girl, abusive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think anyone disagrees with you. Though. I don't. I don't believe in astrology, in it. and I don't think I could get married to someone who takes it seriously as well. Oh, absolutely. Do you know what I mean, it's almost like a different religious belief to me in it so I'm just like no, yeah. I can't be bothered yeah facts fam yeah. if you're Muslim and you believe in star signs you need to check yourself man <laughs> yeah yeah, <it'd> be... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking I'm joking he yeah, ain't Muslim <laughs> what let's take that off <laughs> <laughs> oh my god for the pot it works but <laughs> oh <laughs> Which take off me off? <laughs> Astrology, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yes. <laughs> I said, what well, I'll take out. <laughs> I wish we could keep this one. We can keep it in. I ain't offended. Nah, 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 nah. It ain't about you being offended, bro. <laughs> it's what he said after. <laughs> oh, what did man. he say after? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, 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 that's not, that's not good. Yeah, that's 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 that's. So, are you guys ready for a very, very? I feel like this one's gonna burn you guys, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Like, you, do you it, might come. <laughs> I just might drive them out and punch me in the face. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. This obviously. Never know. We, we might agree. No, no, you won't. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> this won't relate to us in it because we're Muslim and we don't do this in it. But I feel yeah. like if you partake in hookup culture, yeah, and you like you you beat in it around in it, mm. and you do like you you partake in one night stands in it. And by the way, I'm saying this with no judgment in it. I just mean like like genuinely, if you do one night stands and stuff, yeah. If someone is transgender, and you beat them on a one night stand, I don't think they have an obligation to tell you that they were transgender. What, what I mean. I don't think so, personally. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the for whole... many, for many reasons as well. We're well, gone. Now go on. What were you gonna say? I'll give you the reasons, but what were you gonna say? Bro, that's it. it that, that is it, surely like, bro. Isn't isn't that uh, isn't it some sort of consensual? <laughs> Why though? But Jeremy, because for example, yeah, uh, this this don't apply to us in it because I'm a man of faith and I don't do this anyway. Because like, yeah, 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 whatever. The first yeah. person I'm going to be in bed with is obviously my wife and it after we're married. You won't know because you're not going to ask. No, no, no. That's different. When you get married, you, you, obviously... Then Why is it different? A, because, yeah, when you, when you, like, 
having a one night stand yet. What does it matter to you? Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about non Muslims in it. I'm not talking about Muslims. Muslims are different in it. As a, as a Muslim, no, 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 you but... have a one night stand anyway. Okay, t- so okay, we're not talking about it. Muslims, but we're talking about the difference between a one night stand and marriage. Oh, like this you, the most why should you not I've know? I've never heard in my life. So I'll tell you why, yeah. There's many reasons actually. First, one number one reason, yeah, is because if they tell you, not you, if they tell a man, yeah, uh, yeah, so we're not men. No, as in, we're Muslim and we don't do that, innit? but there's if they tell you, there's a high chance that they'll get beaten up just for telling them. Do you know what I mean? So they'll rather prioritize their safety than tell people that. Fam, if you tell someone before you, you do a thing with no, them, no, no, why no, would no. you get I beaten mean, up? Even before, bro, bro you, don't, you, you get, bro, if anything, you get beaten up after. What the hell? Exactly, no, you, man. Not if you don't tell them. So if, what if they find out? It's, bro, you went to the club, you went home, you did the thing, you left, you never see each other again. Nah. Like, yeah, but I, I think, mean, do you know what I mean? Like, if, if you, if you, if you're just out for one night stand, yeah, then you, you shouldn't really, I mean, you, you, like, if they never said anything, you wouldn't know. Do you know what I mean? So, you're waffling, man. You're waffling, honestly. Yeah, you're nah, nah, nah. nah, man. They gotta protect their safety as well, man. You gotta think about it from there. Fam, it's if too slow. Be an issue. Why would they? Why would they run the risk of? Yeah, exactly. This person in the first place. If they know that it's they, a problem, they just wanna bust a nut, man. Come on. Exactly. Go do that with someone, with someone who likes it. Then go do that with someone who likes it. Someone who knows. Yeah. Why? That's like saying, yeah. If you actually, I don't have a point, but. <laughs> You're chatting shit, G. I can't lie. No, 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 no. The worst take. No. Pam, is it not more um like um like, would they not feel much better and enjoy it more if if the other person accepts them for who they are and they're not Isn't doing it under the guise of some weird? I don't secret. know. How, I, I don't know how. Uh, first of all, I've never been clubbing my life yet, so I don't know how it works here. But I'm sure when you go clubbing and you're you're like looking for a beat, yeah, there's not like a. Like a thorough vetting process, in it. There's there's no interview process, bro. There's not next. Do you know what I mean? They're not gonna put you for a video camera in Zoom. That's meeting. the thing, though. I feel like if um, like for people who are about that life, and if you'd be upset about something like that, and you haven't <clears throat> like asked or you haven't found out for yourself, you've only got yourself to blame in it. Like, I don't think you have you, a leg to you have a leg to stand on if you're about that life. Do you know what I mean? If yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. If you're that, about that all, life, that's all I mean. I'm not saying like if you want to get married, like don't ask you or don't like. They, they shouldn't tell you that's different. But the, no, but really, that shouldn't be different. That's much, much different, bro. No, Why? Not. Why is it different? Much, much different, isn't it? No, it's not. Because when you're going out for one night, you're just doing a thing, bro. That's it. Like after the night, after who cares? This is what you're gonna forget about it. Do you know what I mean? No, but okay, it's bro. <sighs> no, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I can, bro, you're chatting so much shit, fam. Tell me why it don't make sense. So th- this is a trans rights argument, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's say you got a, a, um, a, bit, a bit of both in it. Actually, I don't know what the both is, but yeah. Just shut up, man. That's gone. Okay, so what if the person's not trans? Just for for example, they're just a gay man dressed up as a woman, and you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna you're it, gonna it, know it, the difference when, when it comes to that the the clothes come off. Then you're gonna know the difference in it, and then so you can it, be like, "Yo, I don't I don't want this." Uh, I don't, I don't I can't know. Like, if that happens, then it's the swingers. <laughs> If yeah, that happens, you, bro, as a Muslim man, you should be doing it anyway. Yeah, first of all, you can't have. There's no argument in this for us. No, but we're talking out, out of mean? the paradigm of Islam. Though. This guy always oh, trying to tell us to come out of the fold of Islam. No, but we are. <laughs> no, but Kildjian, you're Hindu, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that as a dogati, bro? I didn't say it. Was. Oh, what a dogati! <laughs> a derogatory, bro. That's a dogati. <laughs> um, nah, I, think, bro, I, I, I don't agree at all. That, I, I think I, you could actually think. That is actually non-consensual sex. Come on, yeah. I feel, it I is. Feel, I feel it like is. Because with 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 all the facts that you have in that situation, you consent and that's it. That What's the facts? You're, that you're beating someone and that's it. Do you know what I mean? No, you no, can, no, you no, consented. You consented on based on the fact that you thought this was a woman. Exactly. Um, I f- I think they have a right to their safety in it. If they don't want to disclose, and the person, is... if they're worried about Fam, the safety, then it's, yeah, they don't get into that. If you're worried exactly. about your safety. But exactly. then you can you can you can say the same thing about the people the other person in it if they were if they're worried about their like their sexual health for example in it yeah what? so what's that got to do wait hold on because sexual... but yeah man I think people need to prioritize their safety they need to and I feel like if you're about people, that, if you're about that life the sexual identity in in fear of what if they get banged in the so, face hold bro? on one second one second yeah hold on so you're telling me yeah it's yeah. better for someone to hide their sexual identity. Than to actually they get tell banged them in the face, hundred percent. Yes, 
Bro, the only punched, reason you're get getting banged in the face bro. is because of your own actions. You hit it. That's the reason exactly. you're getting no, banged in the face. No, 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 because you can get banged in the face yes. before you do anything as well. Do you know what I mean? Someone could what just be to them, beat the shit out of you, bro. But then that's not the issue. The issue is that, that's, that that's is a separate issue. issue. So you're that's a, me yeah, it's, but it's a separate so issue. It's not an issue if, if people get banged in the face just because. No, 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 it's a separate issue. But it's still an issue. Whether it's whether second, it's here or there, no, no, it's still no, no. an hold issue. Hold on, one second. What? One second. It's yeah. still an issue, fam. No, no, listen, listen. And it goes hand that, in hand together. That doesn't mean it's right for them to hide whatever they are and still con- continue doing a thing with someone. They're, they're, they're not hiding. They're just... Well, they are. That is you, hiding. If, if you think about it, yeah? Trans women, obviously, whether you will think they're women or not, yeah? Um, this is in general, it, yeah? They obviously believe that they're women. So when they're going into a situation, they're not going to be like, oh, by the way, I'm a woman, but not how you think I'm a woman. Do you know what I mean? Because they that's their belief that they're a woman, so they're not gonna disclose otherwise. Do you know what I mean? It's like for example, yeah, like a woman coming up to you saying, I'm a woman. That's how it would be to them. Do you know what I mean? It's like no, it's A B go, going up to his teacher no, saying I'm not. a man. It's not you know like I mean? that for them because they know no, it it's not like that for them because they know they weren't born a woman. So it won't it's not like that for them. But they know they're the trans women. Yeah, but in this sense now, they are women. They're trans women. Bro. Hold on, I'm talking about. Second. I'm talking about. No, no, like no, whether no, no, or not no, no, you think no, no, they're no, no, women or not. Wait, stop, stop. From their point of view, like there's no other qualms about it. They're women. From their hold point on. of view, not from your point of view. From their. Hold point on, of view. hold on, hold on. One sec. Go Are on. you telling me yeah, that someone is more likely to bang a trans woman in the face yeah, for telling them who they are, or telling yeah. them after, or not, or hiding the fact that they had sex, and then that other person finding out? They're, what, they're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna get banged either way, fam. No, they're mean? not. Yeah, they will. No, no, I mean? no. Bro, I, 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 are you, are you, are you a trans woman to be telling me whether they get banged or not? If no, they, bro. if they, if they're literally saying that they're, they're in fear of getting banged, yeah, who are you to say that they're not? Bro? So why are they having sex with someone that that they think they're gonna get banged in the face by? It's a one night stand, bro. You, 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 when you when you go out to the club, yeah, are you asking people, are you a Tory, and be like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I can't beat you because you're a Tory fan. That's totally different, though. No, it's not, man. Because yes, it they, they obviously they're obviously okay, different. Wait, yeah, but what I'm so saying is, you're doing background checks like that. Do you know what so mean? wait, you just you just put yourself in that. If you're about that life, okay. Um, if I'm about that life, if I was if, a, if B, you were about that life and you had, and and you be a transsexual woman, you would you be alright with that? I wouldn't know. know that, I, wait, I wouldn't know. know. I wouldn't know the next morning, innit? If you okay, found cool, out, if you cool, found cool. out, but if you didn't know the next morning, but you found out the next month, would you be alright with that? I would. I would just go. Oh, okay, and then go on with my life. What am I supposed to do? After that, nah, you wouldn't, bro. So, yeah, I would, bro. Because nah, obviously, in that case, yeah, my, my mindset would be different because I'm just going out to do my thing. And if I find a person attractive in that situation, I found them attractive, did the thing, and then left it and moved on with my life. Do you know what I mean? Nah, man. Nah, sorry, man. For me, I can't lie. That's actually good. That goes under non consensual sex, man. Yeah, then you, I agree. If it's that deep for you, then you would need to make that clear before you do the thing. Why do, what, so it's, I need it's to, not on, it's I not on them. To, I hold up a banner, yeah, saying, "Oh yeah, I'm I'm only here to sleep with like women who are born this way." Not yeah, you, you you would you would say like, "Bro, I'm not I'm not about, I don't I don't know." I said, "Bro, that's rude." <laughs> <laughs> I say, "Bro," to, I say, "Bro," to everyone. You just say, "I'm not about that life," and that's not all I want. And you make clear if it's an issue for you in it, because for them clearly it's not an issue in it. But, no, but that bro, that's how, the how thing. You, you only have that conversation if they disclose it to you. Why no, really? that conversation? You telling... What do you mean? If, if you're so worried that you accidentally slept with a trans woman, you would ask, "Are you a trans woman?" And that's it. <laughs> and if you, bro, if, if, if you so don't, care, yeah? if you don't care, yeah, if you don't care, if you just saw a thing and she's like, "Oh yeah, that thing's peng," yeah. So, so Kyojin, thing, that's it. Kyojin, listen. If James Charles came to our jacket, Kyojin, Kyojin, when you're looking to get married, yeah, are you yeah. gonna ask every prospective that's wife? Different. No, no, wait. That's are why? you gonna ask every prospective wife? Sorry, prospective wife, if they're trans or not? First of all, I'm not going to be looking at women like prospects. You know? No, no, oh, fuck. you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that's ask... what this is what I mean. I'm just going to come down the road and punch me. No, to... no, no. Are you going to ask every woman that could possibly be your future wife if they're trans or not? What do you think CRBs are for, bro? You can hide anything in a CRB, bro. No, 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 for no, no. The contacts I got. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. What you're I can, trying, I, what you're, I, can what you're I can find out your national insurance number right now. Ed. Okay, okay. Do would you have issues I thought, marrying I a transgender say, person? I thought you're gonna uh, as a Muslim. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's an issue for you, right? But it's not one that I'll come across in it, so I'll be fine. No. Okay. But it's an issue for you. I would not marry a woman who used to be a man. Okay. So you would do enough to find out if they were or were not. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so would you ask every woman that could possibly be your future wife if they're trans or not? I would look for I would look for signs in it. I would look for signs in it. I keep like, vision like Batman. You, look, bro, you're chatting shit. You know you're, well, you're as, talking as, rubbish, as I man. said, as I said, it's too different. You know as, as, as a Muslim, it's yeah, not different. I'm, I'm, marriage is different to like, you know, being. Not, like, that's you, what I'm saying, like, though. You just, you just bro, do your thing, and that's bro, it. you're chatting shit. You're not understanding. You know, bro, it's so much because I know that you know you're chatting shit. Well, well I don't think I'm chatting shit. How about oh, that? Brother, How about that, bro? Actually finished. So you you agree with non-consensual sex? Is what you're telling me? I don't believe it's non because You consented to it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Bam. No, if they have an issue with it, they didn't consent to having sex with a child. This, this is how he... Listen, if that... All right, add him out for a second, yeah? He how said... Would, please, before, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. My memory is so bad, I'm going to forget what I'm I, saying. I don't care, you goldfish myself. <laughs> just say it, just say it. Just say it so it's in the head. Just say it. I'll just go on, go on, go on, say it. Okay, basically, so you said, you said, if it's that much of... So we're talking about the one-night stand thing. If it's that much of an issue for you, then you should ask every yeah, person what, what you're going to have gonna, a one-night stand What I was going to say is what you're okay, saying. but okay, let me just say it, yeah. So yeah. you said with the one night stand thing, if it's that much of an issue for you, if you feel that bad about it, you yeah. need to ask every person you're gonna have a one night stand with, are you trans or not? Yeah. You yeah. said you'd you have an issue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You said you'd have an issue um <clears throat> marrying a trans person. So yeah. would you obviously you have that issue? So would you ask every uh potential future wife if they're trans or not? Because it's the same thing. That one, I would expect it to come up in conversation. Do you know what I mean? I, Bro, that's what, no, so then, so then this to, person... No, no, no. So then this they person don't has to. Stand, should say, oh, yeah, I expect wait, that wait, to come wait. up. No, no, no. I don't believe that. Oh, conversation. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I forgot where we were, but... Yeah. We we're talking about the bit where you said you you did trans girl. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah, basically, my whole point is, you said on a one-night stand... Um, if you have an issue, you should ask the person. You should mm. ask whoever you're having a one night stand with. Are oh, you trans? Whatever. Yeah. If it's mm. if being trans is an issue to you. So when you said you wouldn't marry a trans person, I'm mm. saying you should have that same. Say you should have the same standard. You know what I mean? Okay. So I do. Every, so where do we go from here? I do. So what you're what you're telling me? Yeah. What you're telling me is ask. every every potential wife yeah. you're going to ask them, are you trans? Yeah. I don't believe you. You don't have to believe me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you at all. I, you don't have I know, to and I know that's not the truth. You don't have to believe me in it, because I, I know, know I, I know, truth. I know practically as a Muslim, and I won't need to in it, because I feel like. What do you mean? It will come up in conversation. So are you saying? Are you saying trans Muslims don't exist? I didn't say that. You, you, that's what you're implying. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I think I think a trans Muslim, if if they're about their faith, would disclose that. Yeah, but. You know, mm-hmm. but we're you talking know when about you, people you know, who are hiding you know it and saying, not disclosing yeah, it. When you were saying like, if if it's such an issue, I'm talking about to the extent where AB said in it. He said, yeah. it's it's that bad to the point where he would see it as non consensual. Then you definitely yeah. have to ask, in it. Do you not think that's like if if you think it would be non consensual, in that case, would yeah. you not dis- would you she not brother if ask? brother she if if you would have if to tell. If your no. future wife, because she don't, she don't, she, she don't see it as non-consensual. You bro, see it as non-consensual. Bro, so that's up to you, you to, to say that. If your future wife hid the fact that she was trans and you didn't find out, you found out years later. Would that be non-consensual for you? Yes, it would. My, I told you. Listen, marriage is different. To Why things. is it different, bro? Right. We're talking because about it's such, it's, it's, it's such a big no, thing. Answer the mean? question. Would it be non-consensual or consensual if you found out years after? Marriage is different. That's the micro, no, that's no, my no, answer. No, 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 you're not, you're not answering the question. So, I have, I have answered you're it. You're saying it's bro. different. You're saying, I have you're saying it. Marriage you're saying is very, very, very different. It would, be, is, it would be non-consensual because it's in marriage. Is that what you're saying? No comment. How about that? There you go. We know your answer. You know you're chatting shit. Yeah, well, I'm not chatting shit. How about that? You are chatting shit. I got one last one, yeah? This is a, as a yeah. less... Uh, I don't know if it's less serious, actually. It can be deep to people, in it? Um, I'm going to give you an example one, but you can relate it to any, any hobbies. So, like, you know when people say, like, oh... Um, they used to get bullied for like watching anime or some shit in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, as a person who watches anime, I have never been bullied in my life for watching anime in it. I don't I don't mean that in a in a way like ha oh, I didn't get bullied and you got bullied in it, yeah. Mm. But this is my You thing. got bullied for other reasons, innit? I never got bullied for being fat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> my, 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 my name used to call me back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing, cross-eyed bitch. (laughs) (laughs) 
the, the so lucky Big Mac. Yeah, you would like a Big Mac, ain't you, Haram guy, fam? Get out of here. You're the one yeah. that dating transsexual women, so. <laughs> no, no, I'm not in it. I said it ain't got nothing to do with me because I ain't, I ain't about that life in it. So, yeah, have anything to do with me? But... You're gonna get married to one. <laughs> get married to your one, fam. <laughs> 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 Uh, let me get to my point, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, people say, like, oh, yeah, I used to get bullied for anime, yeah. Watching anime, yeah. I can't lie, you only ever got bullied if that was your one personality trait, innit? Do you know what I mean? Like, you look, you, all three of you here don't watch anime, innit? And I like anime a lot. We've never, I don't think we've ever had, like, maybe, like, 0.003% of our conversations have ever been about anime, innit? If you're one-dimensional, obviously, you're going to get people... Go, People are not going to talk to you if you can only talk about one thing. Do you know what I mean? I feel like mm. people who got bullied for their hobbies and their passions and stuff, yeah. One is because they didn't, they didn't find their crowd yet in high school, innit? But also because they could only talk about one thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm That's not crazy. Gonna... You know you know what you're doing? What? Victim blaming. You're okay. justifying that bullying. Yeah, bullying is a little bit needed, isn't it? Otherwise, you get no <laughs> idea. Nah, man. That's, no, I'm joking. That's I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not justifying it, but I'm saying... Oh, you. it sounds like you are. Uh, it's like, it can sound like whatever in it. It's calm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, I think I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm not justifying it. But what you're I saying is, it's their fault they got bullied because nah, nah, they nah, only had one personality trait. No, nah, no, nah, it's not their fault. It's a, it's a byproduct of the school system in it and society. But it's it's unfortunate. <clears throat> That's all it is. Bullying is just unfortunate. Sad as sad as well in it. Do you want oh, wow. more? Do you want more superlatives? Some adjectives? Yeah, throw some comparatives there as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, I feel like people need to be more than one dimensional, innit? Like, if if I can't talk to you a lot about anime, then I'll talk to you about football or I'll talk to you Damn. about music. You're discriminating against all the one dimensional people out here. Okay. That's wrong. I mean, it's not like they're gonna argue back. They're just gonna talk about anime. <laughs> I'll check it. I'll check it. I, I, legit... I, honestly, Damn. I do. I do mean this is a joke, by the way. John. No, this, this guy's is, a this bully. Was, this was this was one it's of my. It's all coming out now, isn't it? It's all coming out. Yeah, this guy's called me cross-eyed bitch for no reason. You call me Big Mac, fam. Get out of here. Oh, After you call me cross-eyed, out. you handicapped. No, no, no. You no, call no. yourself a burger, and I and I laugh. And you like, why you laugh for me, cross-eyed bitch? That's what you, you just said. Me. Is one though. <laughs> I'll punch you up, fam. <laughs> I'm joking. I ain't got any more hot takes, man. Yeah, I, I think I think you've done enough still. <laughs> uh, all right, Preeti Patel hates. All right, all right. Let me re- re- tell, introduce the next segment. Okay, so this is Titan takes. Did you, what you get the takes. Segment? Get out of here. This is a take the section segment. Oh God, this is the segment <laughs> <laughs> where we ask for your Titan takes, and you guys sent in some. Okay, let's have a look at them. Preeti Patel hates bame, bame people so much. I bet she eats star with a knife and fork because she's a lizard like the queen. Yeah. That's not really a hot take. Hot takes yeah. are supposed to be controversial I like a, points. Yeah, I feel like that's a general opinion. You, you're speaking facts, mate. You know what I mean? Fuck, fuck Preeti Patel. I can't believe she spent 77k on those eyebrows, bro. bro they she look... spent five bags. You know she spent five bags in Primark, bro. <laughs> they, yeah. look, they, they look worse than my eyebrows, bro. I don't even <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, she's a joke, man. Uh, and then they try to say, like, oh, she bought clothes for asylum seekers and shit, yeah. But then, like, all the charities came out and said they've never, ever got clothes from the... received clothes from the government or the home office or anything like that. Yeah. Um, she's like, uh, you know, them typical, um, like, BJP supporting conservative Indians. She reminds me of Dolores Umbridge. She from, Little uh, coconuts, man. They come to this uh, country and then they forget where they came from. You know, from Harry Potter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> <be> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I beg you read the last, the last response. <laughs> I'm talking about Kale's and it's a burger. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that because I'm looking. You said that in night, you prick. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was definitely. What are you with me? Yeah. Listen, that load, yeah. You went from you went from having everything you say bleeped out to now sending it in the DMs, bruv. Just say it out loud. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no there's no there's no escape here. 
after. Just say that uh, hot take killed Jinder's burger. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> as as I said, hot takes have to be controversial. Right? That was pretty popular back in high school. Uh, so, what Ian asked? It was a good take. <laughs> no, the burger thing you waste, man. Oh. Uh, someone said everyone on dating apps, including the halal ones, are here for sex. So I don't agree with that. Have you been on a dating app? I wouldn't know. No. So how would you know? I know people who are on dating apps, like Muslim ones. They're looking to get married, isn't it? Yeah, Kyojin's on grind as well. <laughs> yeah, that's the only safe space I have. We need to be careful. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Any last minute hot takes, guys? No, um, not me personally, so. Ketchup and Biryani Banks. <laughs> he's, he's really going to come down the road and punch me now. <laughs> After all I said, that's what, that's what broke the... You've crossed the line now. You've yeah. crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> one, day, one day when we do a mukbang, I'm just going to get rice and put ketchup on top of it. Let me see. <laughs> that's not... Fam, I don't understand that, honestly. What, ketchup and Biryani? Yeah, man. I prefer Bro, chili sauce and biryani. It's got its own flavor. Like you don't need to add anything to it. You can add more flavors. Do you know what I mean? Nah, man. If I'm ketchup, that's such a one-dimensional thing, man. It's so boring. Yeah, yeah chili. Uh, now nah, you got issues with one-dimensional people. Huh? <laughs> Why are you so shaming out here? I am so shaming. <laughs> with no shame. What sauce do you have in like a donut or wrap or something? Garlic chili. And chili sauce. Yeah, garlic and chili. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> is that your hot take? What was the best one so far then? Kyojin's a burger. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if I got any hot takes in like just random. You know, I'm stupid. You have to leave to cook some of the burger as well. <laughs> it was you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably <it> was. <laughs> MKHS pause were different, man. Huh? Yeah. MKHS pause. They were so, they were so <laughs> dumb. Who the fuck is sushi, man? Who knew? Yeah, sushi yeah. bags. Mm-hmm. Sushi. Yeah, sushi is joking, man. It's just mushy rice and like real fish. Where's the flavor? You know, if, if you don't like sushi, you're immature, fam. That's another hot take. Immature, but sushi is dead, man. That's a hot take right there. You guys, I don't, think, I don't think people actually enjoy sushi. They just eat it for the vibes and for the for the culture. Do you know what I mean? Why it's nice, eat- bro. Why would nah. I eat something for the vibe, bro? You think when I'm when I'm sitting on my lunch break eating Tesco sushi, I'm like, yeah, this is a vibe. Do you know what I mean? I eat it because it gives yeah. me nourishment, fam. I don't think you actually enjoy it. You're trying to be a hipster, man. We get it. Man, say, man say hipster. What the hell is eating food, bub? Don't put the wood in there. You're eating with the chopsticks, too. Yeah, you're a hipster, bro. You change. <laughs> this is why I don't want anime. This is what it does to you. <laughs> Do you think you'd eat sushi if it wasn't for anime? <laughs> what kind of dumb question is that, bro? Do you hear it? It's a question. Good question. Do you, do you, you, you think I was watching Dragon Ball Z, yeah? Watching Goku go Super Saiyan thinking, yeah, I need to eat some sushi right now. Yeah, what so has, you can go Super Saiyan. What has blonde hair got to do with sushi, bro? There's no sushi in the anime, fam. I don't know, but it's the culture, innit? I didn't get it from anime. They just we went to Tesco, got sushi, and that's it. If you okay. eat Tesco sushi, fam, you don't care about your insides. That's, yeah, like, saying, that's like saying if you eat doner kebab, you don't care about your insides, bro. You don't, though. Doner kebab yeah, is one of the worst things in, on earth. Donut kebab is delicacy, isn't it? True, say donut is kind of it's a bit. Dead. That's a joke. Man. You know, guys. You full of guys, the, the shit that's meant to go in the bin. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm in the wrong crowd today. You know, man, them saying they don't like donut kebab. I do like it. I still eat, it. but I know it's got like like nose and ears and all that shit. Okay, <laughs> Hold that hot shit in the next. We morning. live, we live in London, fam. The the air is toxic for us anyway. You can't be discriminated against what food you eat. If it tastes nice, it tastes nice, man. That's what you eat, pork, like. 
you have if you, if you ate a funky funky pigeon or funky chicken or whatever it's called, yeah, can't be can't be watching when you eat, man. Funky. So he just says Bismillah before you eat. <laughs> say it, I say it twice just to make sure. Yeah, obviously. Says it before and after. Well, have you guys watched Seaspiracy? It's on Netflix. It's about you. You know that that first uh, cowspiracy. I swear you've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. It's like a. I haven't seen it myself. I haven't even seen either of them. Not gonna lie. I'm just bringing it up. But it's, it's called Sea Spirits. It's about like farming or fishing, shit. Isn't it? I heard about that. So apparently, yeah. To see like on tuna cans and that, yeah. When they say, um, oh, like this, like has been, uh, was it like, um, naturally farmed or something like that, or um, sustainably farmed or some shit? Apparently, it's mm. all bullshit. In what way? I don't know. I, I ain't seen it. My bridge was telling me about it this morning. Speaking of no one listening, blood, we got 19 more subs left till we hit 100. You get me? So if you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, please subscribe. You got something big planned um, for the 100th episode that you definitely, definitely love. You get me? So, so please subscribe. I don't know why you let ain't subscribing. Because, like, you might, you might not watching the thing, you might not downloading on, on Spotify and that, but you don't want to subscribe, fam. It's free. Just subscribe. Yeah? If you it, won't be, it won't be free forever. Soon, what? we're going to be charging £30 an episode. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, OnlyFans, fam. It'll be only times. We're going to move all the content. We're only going to monthly. Trust me, bro. <laughs> if, you pay, if, you pay, if you pay £15, we'll un- uncense everything Alan says. <laughs> 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 you get the whole episode. <laughs> you get me? Oh, and also, we got a thousand download, fam. I feel like that deserves a big round of applause. That's what your mom sounded like last night. <laughs> oh, Jake. Oh, my God. Well, your mom sounded like this. <laughs> That's this guy. I'm, I'm clipping that, you waste, man. That's how your mom sounds. That's how your fist sounds. Mm. Get out of here, man. Fucking Zeus, that glizzy gobbler. No, nah, Zeus is a bad boy. But yeah. So thank you for all your downloads. Please continue to download and support and share. You get me? Send us. And sending us all your feedback. If anyone, uh, if anyone was offended by the things that we said today, um, it wasn't me. It was all, it was all ads. <laughs> if you wanted, if you wanted to dress up, I'll DM it to you. Um, no problem. DM me in it. We can talk about it. Nah, you want to put money on his head? Just DM me in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Please subscribe. Like, comment, share if you're enjoying all the episodes so far. Then talk to your friends about it. Share that, share that love around. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 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 uh.